Assalamualaikum. I'm Dr. Tamana Rahman from Rusundra Adin Medical College. Today, um, I'm going to discuss about anti-Parkinsonian drugs. What is uh, first of all? I need to we need to know what is Parkinsonism. Parkinsonism is characterized by the combination of rigidity, bradycardia, tremor, postural instability that can occur for a variety of reasons, but it is really idiopathic. The drug that is used for as an anti Parkinsonian drug can only have help to alleviate the symptoms and improve the quality of life. The two strategies in their treatment are the to enhance the dopamine activity and to depress the cholinergic over overactivity. Often combination of drugs are used to influence both functions. The drug that is used in a Parkinson's disease, the drugs in that increase dopamine influence. Dopamine precursor like levodopa, dopaminergic agonist like bromocyptin, ropinirol, dopamine metabolism inhibitors like mao inhi B inhibitors, salazilin, and the dopamine releaser, amantadine. The peripheral dopa cardiacarboxylase inhibitors like carbidopa, and the drugs influencing the cholinergic system, the central anticholinergic drugs like benzhexol. And the antihistamines are like uh, orphanadrine. Uh, and now I would like to discuss about levodopa as its most important drug in, and in case of Parkinsonism disease. Though Parkinsonism is due to the dopamine deficiency, dopamine is of uh, no therapeutic value because it doesn't cross the blood-brain barrier. So, label of, uh, as a levodopa is a product which is converted to dopamine in our body. Levodopa then crosses the blood-brain barrier and is taken by the su surviving nigrostriatal neurons and it is converted to dopamine in the dopaminergic neurons of the striatum. Um, but uh, whenever we administer the levodopa, only 1% of the levodopa drugs that is converted to dopamine can reach to the blood brain barrier and then the 99% uh, of them are metabolized and peripheral. So in that case only 1% can produce uh, the uh, clinical improvement. Other reactions, the large amounts of levodopa are converted to dopamine in the periphery I already mentioned it. As a result, what this dopamine can cause? Uh, it, uh, our, it stimulates our chemoreceptor triggering zone, which causes the vomiting. It also acts on our CVS. It causes a postural hypotension, tachycardia, arrhythmia. In, uh, in case of endocrine, dopamine suppress the prolactin secretion. So, what could be their adverse reactions? Obviously, nausea, vomiting, anorexia, postural hypertension, palpitation, and other arrhythmias. Tolerance, taste sensation may be altered. It can cause myodosis and may increase intraocular pressure. And sometimes, behavioral effects like anxiety, depression, hallucination, mania, trauma. So, uh, let's know about the drug interaction, especially with glebotopa. If we administrated uh, levodopa with pyroxene, that can enhance our peripheral decarboxylation of levodopa and thus reduce its availability to the central nervous system. In case of phenothazine and metoclopramide are uh, dopamine antagon antagonists, they reverse the effect of levodopa. So we shouldn't prescribe them with levodopa. Non-selective MAO inhibitors the prolong uh, the action of levodopa and may result in hypertensive crisis. Precaution and the contraindication. So what should be our precaution and contraindication of this levodopa? Levodopa should be about a patient with psychosis and narrow an angle glaucoma as uh, it uh, exacerbated the symptoms of psychosis. So we should avoid this drug in case of psychosis. Levodopa should be used with caution in patients with ischemic heart disease, hepatic and renal disorder. Then peptic ulcer disease, it weeks of gastrointestinal bleeding malignant melanoma and the pre-malignant situation 
a carefully monitoring required because of levodopa is the precursor of melanin and may stimulate the growth of melanoma. Carbidopa and, and its action. The peripheral dopa decarboxylates inhibitor is carbidopa. Uh, when the carbidopa and uh, are given with levodopa, they prevent the formation of dopamine in the periphery. They do not cross the bad blood vein barrier and hence the uh, allow levodopa to convert dopamine in the central nervous system. The combination is synergic and uh, therefore levodopa is always given with carbidopa as it increases the amount of levodopa in the central nervous system, which is very important. So what's the advantage of the combination? Already mentioned the dose of levodopa can be reduced by 75% if we administer them with carbidopa. The response of levodopa appears earlier and the side effects like vomiting tachycardia are largely reduced. Pyroxene doesn't interfere with the treatment. Okay, now let's move the dopamine receptors antagonists. The dopaminergic antagonists have the advantage of directly stimulating the dopamine receptors and do not depend on the enzyme for conversion to active metabolic metabolites. Uh, let's uh, discuss about a new uh, term. This is a drug induced Parkinsonism. Sometimes some drugs can cause the symptoms of Parkinsonism. Drugs like Rizarpine, Metoclopramide, and Phenothiazine are can induce extrapyramidal reaction. Rizarpine uh, uh, depletes the dopamine stores, while the Metoclopramide and Phenothiazine are dopamine antagonists. Several types of extrapyramidal reaction may be induced. The symptoms of drug induced uh, Parkinsonism are almost similar to idiopathic Parkinsonism. So, what would be the treatment? Whenever possible, the drug responsible for it should be withdrawn. And this usually reverses the symptom. Low dose of Benhexel are, can be given along with the antipsychotic to prevent and treat the extrapyramidal symptoms. So that's all my students for today.